the EU is not meeting its obligations to improve the Irish Protocol, but is instead using it as a test that the UK must pass to be rewarded with a free trade agreement FTA, a political commentator has claimed. The European Commission has launched legal action against the UK after MPs passed the Internal Market Bill, which overrides parts of the withdrawal agreement. The EU had set Britain an end-of-month deadline to withdraw clauses in the bill, which it said broke international law. The Commission said it would not be shy in taking legal remedies unless the UK backed down over the provisions on state aid and export declarations on goods from mainland Britain to Northern Ireland. Downing Street refused the same day and the bill was passed earlier this month by 340 votes to 256. President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen said, We had invited our British friends to remove the problematic parts of their draft internal market bill, by the end of September. This draft bill is by its very nature, a breach of the obligation of good faith, laid down in the withdrawal agreement. Moreover, if adopted as is it will be in full contradiction to the protocol on Ireland and Northern Ireland. The deadline lapsed, on Wednesday. The problematic provisions have not been removed. Therefore, on Thursday morning, the Commission has decided to send a letter of formal notice to the UK government. This is the first step in an infringement procedure. Meanwhile, the talks on the future trade relationship continue, but with little progress in sight. As tensions are set to rise in the incoming days and the clock ticks down, in a recent report, political commentator Roderick Crawford claimed the EU is not meeting its obligations to improve the Irish Protocol. Mr. Crawford, who works in conflict resolution and is a regular commentator on matters relating to the future of UK-EU relations, argued that rather than work with the UK to address the challenges and contradictions in the protocol, the EU has treated it as a test that the UK must pass to be rewarded with a FTA. He wrote, there are a number of problems with the protocol that have received widespread coverage since its publication in its original form in November 2018, despite the important changes to the protocol that were negotiated by the Prime Minister, the amended protocol remains unsatisfactory.